Campbell's recently released uh, a new ad online that features a gay couple uh, talking to their kids about Star Wars. Take a look. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Cooper, I am your father. No, no, no. I am your father. <laughs> That's got to be the worst Vader ever. <laughs> Campbell's Star Wars Soups. How about you be Chewbacca? <laughs> Made for real, real life. All right. Uh, so Campbell's is actually doing this ad campaign where they um, have real life families do the ads. Mm -hmm. And they want to represent the diversity of families in America. And they did so by having a same sex couple, you know, feeding their child soup. Yeah. Super sweet. It shouldn't be objectionable, except the religious right in the country had a problem with it. One of those individuals was a woman by the name of Jess Hicks, who went online, uh, Facebook specifically, and said the following. I'm so sick of this homosexual agenda. You sell soup, not butt sex. Please take your ad down, or you will not have a company anymore. So that's what Jess Hicks believes. Now, um, she there's... A, she has a lot of respect for her own power to take down corporations, doesn't she? I think that she needs to be evaluated for psychiatric purposes because <laughs> if you watch that ad with that adorable little child yeah. eating soup and you immediately thought of anal sex there might be something wrong with well, you. Well the, the, it was in the background you had to actually you would have really looked but there, there was anal sex there. I think she called it butt sex. Okay, okay. anyway. No, butt sex. By the way, and, and how child. funny is it? Is she's like working herself up like, oh, I'm the person who knows what's going on. I'm gonna really stick it to them. Butt sex. <laughs> like that, you undercut the seriousness of your claims when you use a term like that, buddy. Yes, absolutely. So Jess Hicks was met with an online troll who created a Facebook page <laughs> that is not in any way associated with Campbell's, but it kind of seems like it was. Um, called Campbell's for Help. So it seemed like a customer service Facebook page for Campbell's, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, this online troll responds back to Jess Hicks and says, it seems you have somehow mistook two men feeding their child soup as a pornographic <laughs> film depicting anal stimulation. My <laughs> word, Jessica, that is quite a leap. Oh my. Now, um, Jessica didn't take kindly to that. She responded back by saying, it might as well. The poor kid must have a terrible life. Imagine going to school having to tell everyone you have two dads. That's a great argument. Argument. I love that argument. Yeah. First of all, the shame of whatever is going on in your family is not the same as being surrounded by anal sex as you're growing up. That would be worse, let me tell you. But then also, it's it must be so bad for this kid that he has to go there and say that he's two dads. Meaning that if he says that, then he might be made fun of or yeah. stigmatized in some way by people like me, yeah. the person posting this. You're the only person who's going to attack him based on that. People like you. Maybe if you chill out, he wouldn't have a bad life when he goes and says he has two dads. Oh, it gets better. So the Campbells for Help troll then responded, they'd be more embarrassed going to school with anyone knowing I'm in some way associated with you. <laughs> at that point, Hicks started throwing feces at the wall. Yeah. And she's like, then said that her child looks after by his mother and father the only way it should be. And then finally the troll closes this wonderful conversation with, Jess, please send our condolences to your child. So sometimes trolls can be good. Yeah. And that's the moral of the story. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we see very often the, the idea that if you have a gay couple, you're, you're ramming anal sex down my throat. That's the terminology that they always use. <laughs> Like, but for some reason, some people buy porn. They subscribe to pornographic websites. They pay like a monthly fee. They get DVDs. I don't know sent. why they do that. But, but for me, okay. why would you have to do that? Because I can just go online and watch Campbell's commercials of straight couples showing off when they feed that kid. All I'm thinking of is penis and vagina sex. Just penis and vagina sex. When I see that straight couple all day long, oh, it's hot, man. I get a bisque going here. No, like that's, nobody but nobody but a homophobe sees two gay people and then thinks, I wonder what it looks like when his penis goes in that guy's butthole. No, we don't think about that. You think about that. I mean, every time I see a cardboard box in a commercial, I think there might be a dick in there. Exactly. Right? You, you never know. You Maybe never just know. Open it up. Right. Oh, there's a dick. When I see like a nice carton of buttered popcorn, I think maybe he's sticking his dick through the bottom of it. You know, I can't go to a movie without thinking about that all around me. It's just a forest of buttery dicks. 